Hi guys, it's Monty Ace, and in today's video we'll be having a look at Pike again. And uh, we'll be focusing mostly on the moments when I get kills with the C5. Uh, it's not going to be all about C5 kills though, the, but in the beginning of the video, the first half of the video is going to be quite a lot of that. I've enjoyed playing Pike quite a lot, and I've especially enjoyed the few times that I actually get kills with C5. Now, in a video like this, a montage-esque type of video like this, it can look like C5 is far more effective and far more reliable than it actually is. Many of these attempts normally fail before I get even close to the tank or whatever other vehicle I'm trying to blow up. But every once in a while I uh, get a successful uh, detonation and when I do be sure that uh, that clip is going to end up on YouTube because it really does look epic. For the most part, or almost exclusively, I would say, I still use the VHXD3 uh, as my main assault rifle. And um, I've been mixing it up with a few other weapons a little bit, but I haven't really found my way with any other weapon as of now. Or Well, uh, basically, it's there's just too many new things to learn for me who just recently started playing this game again. So... Uh, leveling up another weapon or getting familiar with another weapon while learning all these other things related to Battlefield 2042 is just a little bit too much at the moment but we'll see uh, maybe I'll go back to the AK-24 also soon enough now when I use this weapon I normally switch between either the uh, long barrel or the uh, wrapped silencer those are the two ad attachments I switch between the most and that's for the barrel of course and every once in a while I switch to the thermal scope or the thermal sight and uh, not so much when it comes to when it's when there's a lot of smoke or stuff but mostly when there is a lot of vegetation that's when I think that the thermal is the best you'll see a little bit of that in this video again now as you can see I'm editing this video quite a bit and that is mainly to make sure that it doesn't get too long but uh, here we have the first clip where I give you quite a bit of context. What I'm doing here is that I, uh, well, aside from, you know, getting some kills on infantry, I want to take out a tank. But uh, it's a little bit too open, I don't have a clear engagement from the get-go here. But you can see the tank on the minimap here. There's actually two tanks on the minimap here. Or, well, there's a third one. But the one that I'm going for is the one up, up to the left on the minimap right there. Now, speaking of the minimap, I just switched to the silencer. It wasn't the best part for it because at the longer range like that, um, the attachment, the, the long barrel would have been better. But I don't want to show up too clearly or too obviously on the minimap, especially when I'm trying to sneak up on this tank from behind. And I even disengaged from that guy trying to shoot me from behind just for the sake of doing that. So it worked out yet again and uh, here you're going to see the main reason why one? anybody would want to play Pike and that is the scanner that allows you to get uh, the resemblance of or uh, some actual wall hack you could say. So next up here is a combined win and fail moment. Check it out. So, as most of you guys probably know, the speciality of this specialist is the EMGX scanner. This is how it can help you. Now, one of the ways that I have had quite a bit of success using the C5 against enemy vehicles is, of course, getting close to them by being in a friendly vehicle. And uh, it's actually, well, I don't know if it's more or less reliable, but when it happens, I take full advantage. No! I didn't see that guy. Oh, nice! Get 
So, I don't know about you, but I am coming around to this game more and more. Now, I'll be honest, every once in a while I have entire days playing this game where I'm just basically cursing it without end. Uh, for the most part, it's uh, some situations here, some situations there, or some rounds here and some rounds there. But, um, yeah, when this game is frustrating, it is really frustrating. When it is good and fun, it is, uh, well, it has a lot of different options. There's a lot of different play styles to choose from, and it can be a little bit overwhelming, to say the least. Now, me, I, as you probably know, I focus almost exclusively on Pike, McKay, and Boris. But I've started playing a little bit of support as well. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. I actually do have a list video uh, in the works, but uh, before I finish that video, I probably will upload some more McKay and Boris. Uh, so, you're just gonna have to be a little bit patient. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I want to say big thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you guys in the next live stream. So annoying.
I set up my spawn beacon. 